What's up, everybody? Brian BH35 Sports Cards doing 2018 Bowman Chrome HTA Choice 12 box case break number three. Pick your teams. Uh, these are your teams. Thank you, everybody that joined. I appreciate it. Good luck to you. What's up, dog? Probably the end of December when I'll be gone. Somebody's got something in here they shouldn't have. It's right there. There you go. D Decker with the Angels. That super was outstanding. Yeah, dog, go ahead. Thank you for asking first. Appreciate that. Only rule of the room, don't be a dick. Good luck, everybody. First hit of the break, Gregory Soto for the Detroit Tigers, Tommy Boy. You know, Tommy Boy loves him some Tigers.
Michael Baez, blue. Padres, Padres got a live auto, finally. SB forever, Sherry. Let's go redemption, huh, Cabral? Jeez, that's too bad. Hopefully Madrigal's not. Oh, that's cool. Peaks of potential, Andres Jimenez to 25. Andy Metz. It's a Lamborghini. You're going to want to hold on to that one. It's an IOU. <laughs> Dude. You know what I saw the other day? Dar was on Hernandez, Red Sox. Oh, no. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, yeah, Lambo. I see those every day. Come on, bruh. People love to spend money here in this town. Lolo Sanchez. Pirates. B. Hicks. He got that Lolo. Phil Meyer, Heath Phil Meyer, Gold Shimmer, boom. Oakland, Neil K. Look at it all shimmery. You know what I think's funny is the fact that on this product, you want to put these little things in between the cards to keep them from scuffing because there's only three cards. But why don't they do that with the autos in every product? <laughs> like he's in fourth grade. I'm going to get an A on this cursive test. Do they even do cursive anymore? I don't know. My daughter's in uh, second grade, so. She hasn't learned yet. I don't know if they do it anymore. What do you even need it for? To sign your name? You don't even do that anymore. You touch the screen. <laughs> Uh, Brian Hernandez, Miami. Lamont Wade. Zen T in the store. Do one or one or two of those tonight. Oh yeah. And Sandy Alcantara. Three base autos in one one box. Ouch. There is National Treasures Baseball in the store. Angels are in there too. Had to put those back in. We're breaking, Giordano.
Connor Siebold, Phillies. Louis Gillormorme to four ninety nine. Yeah, there's a bunch of breaks open. There you go. There's a link to the store. Take your pick. Purple maker. There you go, cab. White Sox. Hobby number one. Followed, most likely, by hobby number two. That's your second one of the day from here. Had one earlier, yeah. Xiao Ching Chang for the Indians. Taiwan. Surprised, uh, what's his name? It's not over that. Jordan Alvarez, Refractor Auto, Houston. A Robert Auto? Was it a redemption or was it live? Ooh, I was talking to him earlier today. I'm going to text him now and tell him to send it to me instead. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. Sheldon Noose to 150. This one, I like these a lot. Brendan Little. Cubbies. What? He's leaving the Titans? How? He signed it Little. Kyle Young. Very clever. Ooh, man. He just stopped that sucker before he hit the wall. <laughs> Phillies. Six rocker. Couple Phillies now. Richard Urena. Refractor Auto to four ninety nine. Ricky. Weebo. How do you just... So he's just not going to play football unless the Titans get rid of him? You know, Le'Veon Bell's almost lost almost a million dollars for doing the same thing right now.
he should fire his agent and get a new one. Two mil so far? His management team needs to be fired. Very fast. They, they did a very, very bad job on that. Chase Pinder. Two six already. Evan Steele to one fifty. Florida Yankees. Blue Glaber. Boom, son. What up, G1? It's going right. That was my attempt at a wave. Reverse sound wave. He's not going to the Browns, though, because... Well, that's inner division. I already have three running backs they like. And unless they were going to cut all three of them just to have him, they wouldn't have enough. I mean, just no, that's not smart financially. Browns need to make smart plays. Not impulsive ones. Jamie Barria. Um, the Patriots. I think they were talking about the Patriots and they were talking about uh, the Bucks and... God, who was the other one? I can't think of it. Louis um, Darius, prospect auto for the Padres. Louis Severino to 150 for the Yanks. Jaime Barria. Jaime Barria. Thank you, Weebo. Yeah, if you guys know how to say it, and I say it wrong. I don't care. You can tell me. I know I'm not saying it right as it is. It annoys me as much or more than it does you. Oh, yeah, the Jets. That's who I was thinking of. And the Colts. You're right. Yeah, that's a pretty bad situation for him. None of those teams are competitive right now in terms of making the playoffs, actually being able to make a push for the uh, Super Bowl or anytime soon. Maybe the Bucks. They've got a good, talented roster. Jose Albertos. The Colts roster is really bad. Really bad. And Andrew Luck has significant real problems. He can't throw the ball. He can't throw the ball. Evan Steele, Royals. M. Necht. With the Royals. Holy red. Chris DeVito. For the Royals. Bowman first. On card auto. 
Red? I don't know what else you want. Yeah, if he has to throw over 45 yards, forget about it. It would make life easier for him. Kind of. Technically, it would make things easier for the play-action pass, but unless he threw the ball within four seconds, he's going to be screwed because there's a receiver's going to be more than 40 yards down the field. And he can't throw that far. Yet, or maybe ever. Why? Why wouldn't you trade a first-round pick for him? You already know that he's a first-round pick. He was already a first-round pick. Now he's already proven himself as worthy. Why? I don't understand why teams are so hesitant to give up a first-round pick or any draft pick for an established player that's already very good. Austin Allen. I mean, I get it from a business standpoint, but from a winning standpoint, it doesn't make any sense. Most of these teams can't draft worth a shit anyway. He's not going to be the highest played player ever at his position. He's not that. Sheldon Noose. Oakland. Evan Steele. Man, Royals are on a roll. Atomic Green to 99. Four years. Max. Until he's... This is his last good contract. This is his last good contract. And he's already lost $2 million. Two freaking million dollars. Who is the highest paid running back ever? I don't know. Adrian Peterson? Trevor Stefan? 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 Yeah, he is sticking to his guns. He thinks he's worth it. He's sticking to it. So there's that. You got to give him that. I'll give him that. Ooh, sick. Carter Keyboom to 499. Refractor auto for the Nets. Band man. Picking up the Nets. He's going to be good. I don't know what they're going to do with him. How many shortstops do the Nationals need? Ranger Suarez for the Phillies. Six rocker with the purple auto. All Bowman breaks will have a separate recap video. Should have said that at the beginning of the video.
Nikki Lopez for the Royals. Edger and James, thank you for that. Chris, that was very JoJo-like research. Four years, 60 million. Did they renegotiate that? That can't be a rookie contract, can it? Man, Edge and, Edge and AP were certainly worth it. Lewis Urias, Refractor Parallel. Pod Rays. We've had, I think, two of those in every break, at least. No. At least one. Uh, Eniel De Los Santos to 150. It's going to do it on this one. Uh, thank you all very much. I appreciate it. Um, wonder how many more times I can say um. Uh, recap video coming.